hello friends so today we are going to uh, have a look of asymptotic notation so <coughs> what at asymptotic notation is and uh, how it uh, help us to find the complexity of any algorithm so <coughs> we use asymptotic notation to measure the efficiency of algorithm independent of machine independent of the cpus independent of the ram so this is totally a mathematical tool to represent the time complexity of algorithm that means we can measure the execution time of a algorithm independent of the hardware basically three type of a type of notations are there <coughs> big o big omega and theta notation we are going to discuss all these three no notations in next slide and with example so let's start with big o notation what big o notation is so this big o no notation define an upper bound of algorithm so what upper bound means the execution time of the algorithm will never go higher than the big o notation so we can say big o notation if we have a function fn which represents the the complexity of your algorithm then we can say b fn equal to big o of gn if there exists a positive integer c and n0 such that fn is always less than or equal to c of gn for all n is greater than n0 greater than or equal to n0 what does this mean this mean c of gn will always greater than fn fn is the complexity of your algorithm so c of g n will be the upper bound of uh, your algorithm for all n is greater than n0 n is the input so we can see the graph at n0 for n0 so f c of g n will always be higher than f n from n zero so we can write f n equal to big o of g n so let let us understand it understand this by an example so this is called upper bound of a function the time complexity will never go up than g n g n is a another positive function so let us see the example so let us fn equal to 5 n square plus 2 n plus 1 this is the exact uh, this represent the execution time of your algorithm so and gn is n square c equal to 8 and n0 equal to 1 so fn will always less than or equal to c into gn for all n is greater than or equal to 1 that means the upper bound of uh, algorithm will be 8 n square so the time taken execution time taken by the program will never go up than 8 n square independent of input independent of machine so this is called upper bound of algorithm so we can write uh, write like fn equal to order of gn big o of gn that means big o of n square here gn is n square and the constant c and n0 is the positive constant now let us come to big omega notation so here's the graph so big o big omega notation define the lower bound of an algorithm that means the execution time will always be higher than this notation the execution time of algorithm will always higher than this algorithm suppose we have function fn and 
we have another function gn then big omega notation we can write in a way fn equal to big omega of gn if there exist positive integer c and n zero such that c of gn will always less than or equal to fn that means the time taken the execution time of a program will always be greater than c of gn greater than or equal to c of gn for any number of inputs for any input so let us see an example so, so let us consider the same example fn equal to 5n square plus 2n plus 1 this is a function represent the execution time of our of our algorithm let us say gn equal to n square and c equal to 5 and n0 equal to 1 so for all so 5n square will always be less than or, or equal to 5n square plus 2n plus 1 for all n is greater than or equal to 1 then we can see okay if any fn equal to omega of n square is the lower bound of our algorithm for c equal to 5 and n 0 equal to 1 so the execution time will always be greater than or equal to 5 n square that in this uh, we can write like uh, the the big omega notation of the function fn equal to big omega of n square that is big omega of gn is the okay so let us come to theta notation what theta notation is found a function from above and below it defines the exact uh, asymptotic notation asymptotic behavior so what does this mean so this is the best idea of rate of growth so suppose we, we have a function fn and we have another function gn and three positive integers t1 c2 and n0 then we can write fn equal to big theta of gn if there exist positive integers c1 c2 and n0 the condition is this fn will always be greater than equal greater than or equal to c1 of gn and will always less than or equal to c2 of gn so this is the boundary so big theta not notation define the lower bound as well as upper bound of algorithm the execution time will never go down below of c c1 of gn and never will never will go up than c2 of gn so this is the best uh, exact ex asymptotic notation i would say so as the graph we can see fn is the middle fun uh, the the function for all n0 fn will always be lies between c1 of gn and c2 of gn so then we can write then we can write fn equal to big theta of gn so let us understand this by an example theta note as an example let uh, let us take the same uh, function which uh, which is fn equal to 5n square plus 2n plus 1 defines the execution type of execution time of our algorithm let us suppose gn equal to n square c1 equal to 5 and c2 equal to 8 for n 0 equal to 1 this is the mistake here and this is not n2 this is n0 okay so c1 of gn is less than or equal to fn is less than or equal to c2 of gn means fn the function our exit our function will always always be lies between c1 of gn and c2 of gn so that uh, means 5n square with our uh, findings 5n square will always be less than or equal to 
5 n square plus 2 n plus 1 will always be less than or equal to 8 n square for all n is greater than or equal to 1 that means n 0 is equal to 1 then we can write f n equal to big theta of g n that means big theta of n square so this these uh, are the three asymptotic notation by which we can define the upper bound lower bound and the the uh, the upper lower bound of uh, our algorithm so let us uh, have a look of worst case average case and base case what is this worst case means the the set of inputs for which the execution time of a, of a algorithm is higher so based what is waste case the waste case is the set of input for which the run time is less means the the inputs for which the execution time of a program is very less average case the set of input for which the run time is average we will discuss uh, the average case in detail later and what is worst case worst case the set of inputs for which the run time is very high so these are basically set of inputs so for a, a any algorithm we can find the best case, best case average case and worst case of, al of of algorithm of inputs so let us take an example of uh, linear search suppose we have an array having number of elements 5 7 2 1 6 8 and up to n number of elements then I we have created a function to perform linear search the function int search which takes air uh, the the element k then we have to search the kth k element in the from the array so there is a loop which is exactly i equal to zero i is less than array is length if if we found the element then we return the index of element return i otherwise return minus one so this simple function to is doing uh, s uh, performing a linear search so what is the best case so the best case is if thus the element which is we are going to search is at zeroth index so at so if for five if we are going to search five then we will find the 5 at first at 0th index of, of an array so this is the best case the time complexity will be order of 1 so at the first uh, element if we found ok the first element uh, is what we are looking for so we will return the 0 the time complexity at the first uh, comparison at the first compare we will got the our element so the best case is five if you're going going to search five what's the worst case if you're going to search the last element from the area this will be the worst case means that means search 20 25 from the area so uh, here from the area 25 is the last element if you're going to search the last element the worst case will be n we have to loop the uh, loop whole area and uh, until the last element this will be the worst case what is the average average case average case will be n by 2 suppose if we are going to find middle element or uh, the element which, is, which re re resides somewhere at in middle of the area that will be n by 2 so let us discuss the average case average case will be n by 2 okay the element in the area suppose the elements in the area are a1 a2 and a n let us so definitely the probability to find a element will be one upon n because there are n elements and we have to find a single element so that will be one upon one by n what will be the average case average case will be of all to find all the elements will be some action of i equal to one to n pi into xi where xi is the element that we are going to find and pi is the probability to find an element so this is mathematical representation of uh, average case so pi is the constant we can 
like write like 1 upon n into some x and a sigma i equal to 1 to n and x i so sigma 1 i equal to 1 to n x i will be n into n plus 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 upon n then n and n will be cancelled then this will be n plus 1 by 2 if we have large number of elements in the array then n plus 1 will be similar to n so the average case will be n by 2 so this is the average case of linear search in the same way we can find like uh, more examples and uh, we, we will uh, have a look of more examples and we can find best case worst case and average case of algorithm so that's that's it that's it from this video and we will, we will discuss more about these algorithm in, in next videos enjoy